Today on our 2014 Nissan Rogue Select, we're going to be doing a test fit of the Rolla hanging style for a bike rack, part number 59401. As you can see, we've already got a bike up on a rack, so you can see what it's going to look like once you have it fully assembled and on the back of your vehicle. This rack does come with a two inch shank for your two inch receivers only. And we'll start off by getting a few measurements. Our first and closest measurement will be the first one. From the back side of the bumper to the front side of the rack at about five and a half inches. Overall distance that we've added to the vehicle from the rear of the vehicle to the back of the cradle arms at about 31 and a half inches and our ground clearance from the back side at about 11 inches. So now let's move up top and talk about how our bike is secured to our rack. We're going to have three straps securing each bike to the cradle arms two on top and one on the side. The two on top are going to be your frame straps. They're going to keep it fully, firmly secured to the cradle arms and keep it from bouncing up and down while you're driving down the road. The most important one is going to be the one here on the side. That'll be the first and last one you place on connected to the down tube and seat post side of the bike, keeping it from swaying from front to back as well as keeping it securely firm or placed up against the cradle arm here. Let's go ahead and undo them in the reverse order that we should place them. Once you have your straps undone, go ahead and pull the bike off. That way we can show you the stow position, making sure that you attach the strap when you're done. That way you don't lose them and you don't get any dirt, debris, or road grime built up inside. Next we'll talk about how we're going to place it down into the stow position. Look underneath here and locate the pin. Go ahead and lift it up a little bit with your arm, pull out on it to release it. And then you'll be able to pull up the pin here on the outside. Once you've done so, rotate it around until the holes line up here. Place the pin back in, pulling out on that to release it and lock it in place. Now let's go ahead and get another measurement <coughs> since we've shortened our bike rack up quite a bit. It's going to be about 10 inches to the back side here. Now let's go ahead and go down to the bottom and talk about how we're going to put it in the tilt position. To do so, you're going to first remove this U-shaped clip here on the bottom and pull the pin. Once you've done that, we're going to lift this bar out and tilt it away from the vehicle, giving you access to the rear hatch or trunk space, whatever you have you, to get out anything that you may have forgotten or left behind. Go ahead and close that up once you're done and return this back to the upright position. Once you have it there, replace the pin and the U-shaped clip. Now let's go ahead and talk about the anti-rattle bolt that's going to help to secure it and keep it securely fastened to the back of the vehicle and reduce a lot of the sway, rattle, and wobble. Note that you will still have a little bit here and that's just going to be the play and movement here in the pins and clips. Go ahead and pull out on the clip that's retaining and loosen it up so you can see what kind of sway, rattle, and wobble that we're talking about. Now let's make sure that we have that nice and tight so it's a comfortable ride for you and the occupants inside the vehicle to your destination. Placing the clip back in once we're done. And you'll be ready to hit the road with your all new Rolla hanging style for a bike rack. Part number 59401 on our 2014 Nissan Rogue Select. Let's see how it does on our test course. Here you see it out on our test course. First is the slalom, which shows the side-to-side -side action to simulate turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next are the alternating speed bumps, which show you the twisting action such as hitting a pothole, road debris, or going over a curb. Finally, we will finish with the solid speed bumps, which show the up and down action to simulate a parking garage or coming out of a driveway.